morning everyone Hello, uh, or good afternoon depending on sarin ninyo oras kilan. Okay, without further ado, no, I will be discussing what volleyball is. Pero, wala na ko nang prepare o PowerPoint presentation for this since supposedly delete na ko ang mag-discuss ani because volleyball man ni, eh, it's already, wait for a while. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Um, ako lang siyang i-discuss sa inyo ha, kay basig na ko input And this will be a long discussion because these are 10, uh, 10 lessons, no? So, mag-video lang ko for those nga maglisod og sabot sa libro because I will be giving out handouts, no? We do have handouts for this. So, paghatag na ko sa handout ninyo, na siya kauban nga king ani. So, akong tagaan isang inyohang president. Dayon ka mo na magsabot sa yung president kung kinsay magpa-photocopy. Kaya pwede naman mo dilip magpa-photocopy, pwede naman mo mag-print or mag-save sa inyong cellphone sa PDF. Pero for this one, kaning ato ang answer sheet or answer key, tagsa-tagsa mo dapat na ay ingani. Okay? Fresh kayo no? Sige. Uh, this, again, this is volleyball. And buckle your seatbelts because this is... A very long discussion. <laughs> so bear with me. So volleyball is a team sport in which teams composed of six players are playing separately by a net. Meaning, duha ka teams nga nag-consist of six ka players per court. Pero naana sila yung mga substitution. Okay. Each team is allowed three hits or contacts to get the ball over the net to the other team. Pero dili siya nagpasabot ng ikatulo ra gyud. Pwede ka duha, pwede ka isa lang maginday-inday mo, iuli ra ninyo ang bola sa pikas. Pero if it's a gameplay which I prefer, natay first ball, natay second ball, which is setting and third ball spiking. Okay. Again ha, each team is allowed three hits. If mulapas na na siya di ha, dili na pwede. Okay? A point is scored if the ball hits the ground in the opponent's court. If the opponents com if the opponents commit a fault or they fail to return the ball properly, magka-score ang kamo, no? If kamo nag kamoy nagtira sa bola, wala na receive sa kalaban, magka-points mo until 25 points. No man siya ang sa volleyball. So, si William G. Morgan, he is from Holyoke, Massachusetts, in the United States, at YMCA Physical Education. Um, in YMCA. And he is also a director of YMCA Physical Education. So, he created a new game called Mintonet at around February 1895. So, this was just past time to be played indoors And by any number of players. So, Mintonet ang tawag siya before. The game took some of its characteristics from tennis and handball. And Mintonet was designed to be an indoor sport. So, indoor sport is on ang Mintonet. Let's rock the basketball for older members of the YMCA while still requiring a bit of athletic effort. The first rules written down by Mr. William G. Morgan called for a net six feet by six inches or six by six inches or 1.98 meters so dum dum ninyo kay manggawas ni sa to ang quiz okay kayo ta ni sige glantaw sa problema ninyo again ha dum dum na to ang mga kuan mga measurements but anyway maghatag mako sa inyo ha og notes so pwede ra mo mag study dito ah Again, ang net is 6 feet by 6 inches or 1.98 meters high and 25 feet by 50 feet or 7.6 meters by 15.2 meters court. And any number of players. That was before. A match was composed of nine innings with three serves for each team in each inning. No? So, the sabot niya ni, saan pag magka-fault, padayon niya po nga kami mag-serve for three times. If mag-end na, sa lahi na pod nga, 
15. Tagtulo-tulo mo per inning. No, pero this uh, karon bago naman na volleyball. Dili naman siya pinaminto net. Okay. And, uh, in case of a serving error, second try was allowed. Hitting the ball into the net was considered a foul with loss of the point or a side out, except in the case of the first try serve. But anyway, sa minto net man siya. After an observer, Alfred Halstead, noticed the volleying nature of the game at its first exhibition match in 1896. At the International YMCA Training School, or also known as the Springfield College Sakaron, the game quickly became known as volleyball. No? And naghim sa net si William G. Morgan. And observed by Alfred Halstead, then notice siya nga, gravali ang nature sa game. Which is why it is uh, changed. It quickly became as volleyball. It was originally spelled as two words, play and ball. No? Manata dori, aha? Manata here. Volleyball rules were slightly modified by the International KSA Training School and the game spread around the country to various YMCAs. The complete rules are extensive, but simply, pl but simply play proceeds as follows. Player on one of the teams begins a rally by serving the ball, mag-serve ka og bola, tossing or releasing it, and then hitting it with a hand or arm. That is to complete the rally. Ang rally gani, maka-create mo og three, three hits, mapasa nyo sa kauba, sa kalaban, they will do the same, ipasa na po sa inyo. That is a rally. The receiving team is not let the ball be grounded within their court. If ma side out na ganin na or ma out na na, score sa kalaban. Siyempre, if gitira ninyo, nilapas na mo sa katong linya, siyempre, out na na siya. Okay? The team may touch the ball up to three times, but... Um, but... Individual players may not touch the ball twice consecutively. So, ibutan pala na at ay tulo ka players, si player A siya ang nag-receive sa bola, si player B, si player C. Dili pwede nga si player A ang nag-receive, si player A gihapon ang mag-set. Pwede nga si player A ang mag-receive, si player B ang mag-set, si player A balik ang mo-spike. Pwede ra. Pero ang dili pwede, si A tanan ang mo-trabaho. Okay. Typically, the first two touches are used to set up for an attack. Attempt to direct the ball back over the net. Such a way that the serving team is unable to prevent it from being grounded in their court. Meaning, it received nila ang ball nga gispike sa kalaban kay para ilha pong maset back pabalik sa kalaban. The rally continues with each team allowed as many as three consecutive touches until either one team makes a kill grabbing the ball on the opponent's court and winning the rally, or two, commits a fault and loses the rally. So, the gun kayuta o faults no na panang touching the net or touching the ball twice, mga ingana. Mona siya ang mga grounds para magka-score ang pikas grupo. Okay. The team that wins the rally is awarded point and search the ball to start the next rally. So sa una, sa Mintonet, diliing ani, right? Sa Mintonet before, they are given three innings, I mean nine innings, and per inning, makasal sila ikatulo per round, per inning. Okay? The team that wins the rally is sword point and serves the ball to start the next rally. A few of the most common faults include causing the ball to touch the ground, floor outside nagrecord ko tam sa akin maragula ko nagrecord patay kapoy big story ha ano ni more oh na di ay so again number one causing the ball to touch the ground or floor outside the opponent score or without passing over the net so that is one common fault in volleyball Next is catching and throwing the ball. Dili pwede salo ng bula. For example, ate bula pag salo, gitos ninyo. Dili siya pwede. Dapat pinakalit lang or pinareceive. Okay, dili pwede gunitan ang bola. Dili pwede ilabog sa kalaban. 
nga na siya. That is a fault. Magka-score ang kalaban. Double hitting. Two consecutive contacts with the ball made by the same player. Okay, again, hindi pwede ikaduha ang kagunit sa bola. Except for setting. Kasi syempre, duha man nakakamot. Pero maklaro ra ba na if ikaduha ninyo touching, ikaduha ninyo na, ikaduha ninyo na, siya tawag ani, o yun, kalimot ko sa term, sige na, we will discuss it if magduha na ginta. Okay? Four consecutive contacts with the ball. Again, dili. Pwede kay Katolora. Pag minamuha, ikatolora, pwede gunitan ang bola isa-isa kada player. Katolo lang. Net foul. Touching the net during play. No? Kanang pag-spike ninyo, magunitan ninyo ang ang net. Ano na ginatawag na touching? Okay. Dali lang na siya makikitaan. Foot fault. The foot crosses over the boundary line when serving. So, pag-serve din nyo, make sure nga layo mo sa linya para dili nyo matumban. E naapod tayo, stepping. Stepping no? ka ng pag-serve pag ninyo, I mean, pag-spike ninyo, nakatunob mo sa inyuhang kalaban nga courtside. Okay? Nakapod tayo, fault nga, for example, nag-spike ang tag-back row. Unya, dito siya nakalanding. Ay, dito siya nihapak sa first row. Dili na siya pwede. Si back row, sa back row, lagi na siya pwede mong hapak. Okay? The ball is usually played with the hands or arms. So, but, but players can legally strike or push, short attack the ball with any part of the body. Pwede ti L, pwede diri A, as long as kajutra. Dili siya ninyo gamitun as your main um, main part of the body nga mag-receive sa bola. Kanabit ang mga kwan lang, mga Uh, mga ulit ang tinuyuan mga yung anak siya for you to further trace the history of volleyball here are some important dates how volleyball improved through times year 1896 when the volleyball was first played at Springfield College and in the year 19 90s Or was when a special ball was designed for the sport YMCA spread volleyball so nanay bulang na buhat sa 19 19,000. Pagka year 1907, volleyball was presented at the playground of American Convention as one of the most popular sports. But in the year 19, oh, uh, 1910, Elwood S., the physical director of the Manila YMCA, introduced volleyball in the Philippines. Okay, can you see Sir Elwood? Siya ang introduce sa volleyball dito sa Philippines in the year 1910. And the, in the year 1912, the Philippine Amateur Athletic Federation adapted volleyball for men as an official event in the national championship games. No? 1913, volleyball was one of the events in the Far Eastern Games in Manila, Philippines. So after it was played here in the Philippines, syempre ni spread na siya all throughout the Philippines. So, sikat even until now. Sikat gihapon ang volleyball. 1916 in the Philippines, as offensive style of passing the ball in a high trajectory to be stuck by another player, the set and spike were introduced. The Filipinos de developed the bomba or kill and called the hitter a bomberino or the spiker itself. Ah, bomba, kana mo puto na dayon ka. Pag-receive mo sa bula, eh, kana puto po ang term na sa amu ah, kung magdula mo. The NCA or the NCAA was invited by the YMCA to be editing the rules and promoting the sports. Kaya syempre, if you are to regulate rules sa isang sport, I mean, if you are also to introduce a sport, syempre, it should be grounded with rules. Kaya di man pwede nga, sige na to ilisan ang sports, no? Ang ilisan na to, sige ang rules, dili siya pwede. The year 1917 in Brazil, volleyball game was changed from 21 to 15 points. That is for Brazil. In 1928, it became clear that tournaments and rules are needed. That's why the United States Volleyball Association, now known as USA Volleyball, was formed. The first U.S. Open was staged as the field was open to non-YMCA squads. So, di na siya for YMCA squads. Gi open po siya sa US. And in year 1934, the National Valuable Referees were approved and recognized. Kaya syempre, again, dili lang man rules and regulations ang needed sa isa ka-sport. Also, kinahanglan ang mga referees. No? 
makasuway ana sa tuang tournament. Ka for example, nagadula mo, natay three teams. Ang first two teams magdula. Ang katong ikatulong nga team, sila ang mag referee. Sila ang mag-call if in ba or out. Sila tigkuha og bola na ay mag-referee. Okay? So matunan nato ng tanan. Uh, 1934, the National Volley Purpose approved. And in 1937, boring din siya nga. Because this is a history. History din siya volleyball. So just bear with it. No? 1940, the forearm pass was introduced to the game. Most balls were played with overhand pass. Overhand. Ana. Karon, gi-introduce na ang forearm pass. Which is ana. Or there is a side. 1947, the Federation International de Volleyball, or FIVB, was founded in Paris, or Paris. In 1957, the International Olympic Committee designated volleyball as an Olympic team sport to be included in the 1946 Olympic Games. So, this is the process, no? So, if you want to learn more about this, padugay man tayo, ito pa na siya tayo sa tagsaon. So, kamo na lang basa ka na iyang apart para makaproceed na sito ang next topic. Anyway, posted naman sa inyong classroom. Pwede na ninyo i-print, pwede na ninyo i-photocopy. Volleyball nowadays is one of the most successful and popular competitive and recreational in the world. Very true, no? Even until now, sport gihapon siya sa Olympic Games and even part sa tuang pagklase. Even karon ron, klase mataog volleyball. It is fast, exciting, and the action is explosive. Pero it will depend on the athletic age of a person. Kaya syempre, if wala siya na anad o volleyball, syempre, lisod yun siya. People are excited to watch the image of the volleyball is increasingly a good one. Especially, naatay ka ng... Kung kailan mo ni Alisa Valdez, naputong ka itong mga... Kinsa gani ning sikat ka rin, nasig ka bash, kaya dili man agad. Kalimot ko. Ito mo rin si Niana Guerrero galing. Sige, next. Next topic. We have participants. This is from your classroom class. Ginan ko lang sa mga trend hindi na ako i-discuss na nga. Ito lang yung common kung muna ito ang ma-apply sa itong klase. So, team composition. A team may consist of maximum of 12 players. One coach, one assistant coach, one trainer, and one medical doctor. One of the players, other than the libero, is the team captain, who shall be indicated on the score sheet. No need gina indicate kinsa ang team leader. Okay, for example, na ay fault or na ay misunderstanding. Sila ang ipatawag sa referee, storyahan sila, and si leader siya ang mag-disseminate sa iya mga kauban. Need po a e, disseminate, I mean disseminate, need po e, identify kinsa ang libero. Okay, pa, kani si libero, lahi iyang sinina. Dahil ang color sa iyong sinina dapat opposite sa iyahang mga kauban. Kung light ang sa iyong mga kauban, dark ang sa libero. Para ma-identify sa judges or I mean sa referee kung kinsa ang libero. Kaya kanil si libero, dili siya pwede mo abot sa first row. First row ka itong na-ilinya nga gamay sa tubangan sa rotation. Pag mo abot na ganyan dito ah, masab masaban si I think middle. Si middle ba? Kalimot ko, di na kayo na recall class. Kung saan siya substitutionan kay para lahi na po ang musulod. Okay? Only the players recorded on the score sheet may enter the court and play in the match. Once the coach and the team captain have signed the score sheet, the recorded players cannot be changed. Not unless if you're going to substitute. Okay. Location of the team. The players... Not in play should either sit on their team bench or be in their warm up area. So dili pwede sila na asila do sa court naghulat hulat sa ilang turn. The coach and other team members sit on the bench but may temporarily leave it. Pwede rin maghawa hawa siempre. O ira po kaya dili pwede mo hawa no? The benches for the teams are located beside the scorer's table outside the free zone. Again, ha, outside the free zone, dili pwede na magtanga mo kilid sa court. Only the team members are permitted to sit sit on the bench during the match and the participate and participate in the warm-up session. Dili pwede nga nai maglabot-labot nga taga lain. No, nanay case ana before sa Sivapsaa which is in Valencia. 
na disqualify sila kay na ay wala na register ng name nagapil apil sila og warm up <laughs> players not in play may warm up without balls as follows during play or in the warm up areas during timeouts and technical timeouts and in the free zone behind their playing court okay we don't need to talk about that equipment players equipment consists of a jersey short socks or the uniform itself and sports shoes dili pwede nakatiniil ang short ninyo pwede ra mo naka short sa so, syempre kay volleyball man ato ang jersey dapat na atay number lahi lahi tag number sa ato ang mga kauban pag abot sa tong tournament pwede ra ta mag pwede mo magpa jersey og inyo okay ra na siya or if na may jersey ninyo pwede ra na siya pero if na may kaparihag number make sure to cover it up kay para dili maglisod ang referee Okay, the shoes must be light and pliable with rubber or leather soles without heels. Okay, para maka-avoid the og mga, mga injury. The shoes must be light and pliable. The ears jersey must be numbered from 1 to 20. Dili pwede ang 0, kaya dili man ni basketball. Dito na pwede mo abot. Dito na pwede mo abot og 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. Next is the number must be placed on the jersey at the center of of the front and of the back. The color and brightness of the numbers must contrast with the color and brightness of the jerseys. Dili pwede nga white na gani inyong sinina, white pagit inyong print. Dapat mo contrast siya sa color. Okay? The number must be minimum of 15 centimeters in height. So, kanya siya mga technicalities na niya sa mga sinina. No No need to explain. Change of equipment. The first referee may authorize one or more players to play barefoot, to change wet uniforms. Kaya pwede man mo makatiniil as long as na ay problem. No? To change wet uniforms between sets or after substitution provided that the color design and number of the new uniforms are the same. Pwede na ilis. Forbidden objects. It is forbidden to wear objects which may cause injury or give any artificial advantage to... Ano to? To the player. Players may wear glasses or lenses at their own risk. Siyempre, dili man na na mo pareha sa kuha. Magduwa ko. Pwede rin ko maging ani. Pwede rin po dili. Kaya maglisod na ko o tanaw. Na binaghayag ka ayaw. Need din ako na glasses to protect my eyes from the sun. Allowed rin mo, Ana. Pero if ever na yung hitabo sa inyo, ha? since at their own risk man, of course, inyo na na siyang fault. Okay? Five team leaders. Both the team captain and the coach are responsible for the conduct and discipline of their team members. The liberos cannot be either team or game captain. Dili pwede as a libero mahimo o team captain. No? Katorig yung si setter, spiker, si middle, or si open spiker. Open hitter. Captain. Prior to the match, the team captain signs the score sheet and represents his, his or her team in the toss. During the match, and while on the court, the team captain is the game captain. When the team captain is not on the court, the coach or the team captain must assign another player on the court except for the libero. To assume the role of the game captain, this game captain maintains his or her responsibilities until he or she is substituted. Or the team captain returns to play or the set ends. When the ball is out of play, only the game captain is authorized to speak to the referees. Hindi pwede nga lahi na tao. As long as naamoy team leader, sila ragin ang pwede makigstorya sa referee. If ever naamoy nakita nga violation, nga wala nakita sa referees, or naamoy i-clarify. Um, the end of the match, the team captain thanks the referees and signs the score sheet to ratify the outcome. Para ma-formalize na ito ang outcome. Coach, Throughout the match, each coach conducts the play of his or her team from outside the playing court. He or she selects the starting lineups, the substitutes, and take timeouts. In these functions, his or her contacting official is the second referee. Prior to the match, the coach records or checks the names and numbers of his player on the score sheet and then signs it. Dapat must to finish class. Assistant coach, kaya na na siya need na ta-istoryahan kaya wala ang mga coach-coach. Facilities and equipment. 
Kindle class, a special class. So the playing area, the playing area includes playing court and the free zone. It shall be rectangular and symmetrical. Dimensions. The playing court is a rectangle measuring 18 by 9 meters surrounded by a free zone, which is a minimum of 3 meters wide in all sides. Okay, the free playing space is a space above the playing area, which is free from any obstruction. Plus, um, I don't think I need to include this in the in the discussion anymore since facilities and equipment many. Although this will be part of your quiz, basaha lang ninyo, okay? Not the lines of the court, the zones and areas, okay? Temperature, lighting, net and posts, structure, side bands. So this will be your assignment to read now, okay? So nara sa inyo sa mga ninyo dili basa ing nakodaan part na ni siya sa inyong quiz. I don't need to further explain this one no, since facilities and equipment and, uh, rules. So, nara, again, nara sa inyo if basaho ninyo. Part of the challenge. Playing format. I have to include this. Okay, so yeah, pelo na lang ako ni. To score a point to win a set and the match. To score a point. Team scores a point by successfully grounding the ball on the opponent's playing court. When the opponent team commits fault, when the opponent team receives penalty, so maka point ang in yung grupo or ang sa kalaban. Okay? Fault. When can you uh, say nganagka fault mo? A team commits fault by making a playing action contrary to the rules or by violating them in some other way. The referees judge. Uh, the referees judge the faults and determine the consequences according to the rules. If two or more faults are committed successively, only the first one is counted. So, isa lang. Isa lang, syempre. Okay. Ang first fault, for example, na-touch niya ang net, o niya sa sunod kay nakuan pa yun na nalahos imong tiil, only, only isa lang ang makaw. Dili pwede nga. Two points ang Mapla sa pikas niya mamayna sa inyo ay nga na. Dili siya pwede ana. If two or more faults are committed by opponents, simultaneously a double fault is called and the rally is replayed. No, pwede siya. Um, Kato kong ingong ganina. Uh, successively to say, yeah, but if simultaneously um, nagduman siya, a double fault can be called and the rally can be replayed. Okay, again, ha? if two or more faults are committed successively, only the first one is counted. So meaning, dili siya nagdungan, nagsunod lang. Pero if nagdungan na gani, it can be called out twice. Rally and completed rally. Diyan siya nga yung libro. I don't know, ha? I-check ninyo if this is still valid. Saan ni? 2021. Ah, okay pa siya. So, updated ni siya, 2021 pa. So, this is our book pala. Naani siya sa library, pwede mo mang huwam ani. Pwede mo magpa-photocopy, okay? Next is to win set. To win the match, kapalo na taan ni. Default and incomplete team. So, okay, structure of play. The toss. Before the match, the referee scares out a toss to decide upon the first service and the sides of the court in the first set. Toss o coin ha, dili bola. Warm-up session. Not a three-minute warm. Mabit free to see. Referee ani. Three minutes. Puno na ko hangin. Three minutes or five minutes pwede siya. So not we have teams starting line up. Before the start of each set, the coach has to rep has to present the starting line up of his or her team on a line sheet. The sheet is submitted, duly filled in, signed, and signed to the second referee or the scorer. The players who are not in the starting line up of a set 
are the substitutes for that set except for the libero. So si libero, wala pa na siya sa sugod, musulod na na siya if mag-start na ang play. Okay, grabe ka special si libero. So before, in my high school days, I was a libero. Eh, because potot manggud ko sa una. Until now, siguro potot mangyapon ko. Pero special yun ang libero and Before I enjoy being a libero, pero nakadugayan na board ko kay syempre dili man mi ka labi nagduha mo ka libero, kunya ma favorite sa coach ang isa ka libero na siya mo rasha maka boring na siya. Positions na ra. Kani siya ni did na to ni siya The moment the ball is hit by the server, each team must be positioned within its own court in the rush rotational order except the server. No, the positions of the players are numbered as follows. The three players along the net or the front row, players occupy positions for. Tara, can you make it? Tani niyo ang four, three, two, front left three. Kani listen kisha i discuss class if you support mismo. So siguro di ako di siya discuss tari. We're going to discuss it if magmit na tani niyo. O koko na ko position four. Rotation, rotation of fault, substitution of players, limitations of substitutions. Kani sila class, lisud ni siya i-explain if wala kita sa court. No? So, I won't discuss it here. Ako rin siyang i-discuss sa tuang court. Pero this is still part of the quiz. So, I hope in yung muling sa hon and subton. Okay? Next is playing actions. So, last na ni playing actions. Sa ato ang uh, uh, part 1. So this is just part 1 of our discussion. Kaya morag 30 minutes na siya. Taas na kayo. We have ball in play. The ball is in play from the moment of the hit of the service is authorized by the first referee. Ball out of play. The ball is out of play at the moment of the fault, which is whistled by one of the referees in the absence of a fault, the moment of the whistle. Ball in. The ball is in when it touches the floor of the playing court, including the boundary lines. So in siya. Ball is out when the part of the ball which contacts the floor is completely outside the boundary lines, meaning na out ang bola. Or it touches the object outside the court, calling uh, the calling or person out of a play. Masha meaning na out na ang bola. Playing the ball, each team must play within its own playing area and space, except rule to in ball crossing the net. The ball may, however, be retrieved from beyond the free zone. We We really need to understand now that our situation is very hard. Okay, especially if nag-classy ta ka ron, punya nag-online ta, wala tayo bola, wala tayo court. So, I guess this part here will be, will be played, and I mean, will be discussed while we are playing. No, magdula ta for one hour, mag-discussion ta after, or bali, mag-discussion ta after, and magdula ta. E nga na siguro. Kaya lisod kayo niya siya i-class, i-class nga. Wala mo sa court. Bangan, wala tayo po, wala mo sa court. Okay. I guess that will be all for part one. Part one sa ito ang origin of volleyball, participants, facilities, and equipment, playing format, and playing actions. But again, dili pa sabot nga. Wala na ko gi-discuss. Dili ninyo basahon. I am requiring everyone to read the libro or the photocopy kay para ato asyang maapil sa quiz. So, na natay quiz nga ready. So, next week, mag-quiz na ta. We are already on week 4. Week 4 na ni Karun kay last week is week 3, which is LCO days. Karun, week 4 is discussion. Next week, quiz. I-quiz na to. Tanan nga naa sa inyong classroom. Dagan na kay dagan siya pero sige lang I will be informing you I I mean nag-inform lang buko sa inyo ha nga to siyang gi klase na amo po tay photocopy so naara sa inyo ha if basahon ninyo or dili Okay kung bright na kayo mo syempre no need to read na kay bright naman mo Okay so that is the end of part 1 part 2 will follow Okay again part 2 will be uploaded after this video will be uploaded as well
Thank you so much for listening and see you until the next video. Bye.